As NHL training camps open, concussions continue to be a top of mind issue. York University professor Lauren Sergio is working on effective testing for concussions. She met with feature writer Ken Campbell from the Hockey News and ran him through a series of tests she uses on NHL prospects and concussed players. While contemporary testing methods rely on testing players' cognitive and physical abilities separately, Professor Sergio's tests focus on how these aspects work together. And it's really important to not just test thinking and not just test moving, but to actually put them together and make sure your athlete, before you send them back out, can actually think and act at the same time. Like you have to have your spatial memory and attention it has to be that can't be affected. If that's affected at all, and you're trying to do a do a tricky move and remember where that last player was coming up behind you, so that you can make sure you're you know check on them a lot of the way. Mm -hmm. If that's affected at all, that's you're, you're more likely to get hit again. And we do the thing. One thing we really do know about concussion is, once you've had one, it's easier to get another one. As our understanding of the human brain evolves, there's still much unknown about concussions. Everybody's different. And the, the problems that you're going to have after concussion is going to be different from the problems that I would have after concussion. We do see a general trend that after concussion, they aren't doing as well on these trickier ones. By definition, concussion, you, there's our current diagnostic tools don't pick up on it, so we have to go by behavior. And so while there are some things we know, there's just... Like, like I said, there's no, there's no standard out there yet. Dr. Sergio hopes that her research will give us insight into how concussions impact Canada's game.